everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on implementing a package known as Django Crispy Forms. Now with Django Crispy Forms it allows us to add in Bootstrap to our Django Forms in a very simple and easy way without having to deal with all of the intricate um, adaptations of adding in Bootstrap. So let me show you my application as is. So it's very simple. So we can see we have a registration form and we can see the fields, but these fields look quite ugly to be honest. Now there's many ways in which you can implement Bootstrap, but a simple way is to make use of Django Crispy Forms to add in um, this unique Bootstrap to our user fields. Now, something I also want to mention before we get into that is you're probably wondering what type of Bootstrap theme I'm utilizing. So I'm actually making use of Bootswatch. So Bootswatch is a website where you can go ahead and utilize free themes for Bootstrap. So if you scroll down on this website, I will include it in the description below. You can go ahead and see all of the different themes that you can apply to your website here. Now, what you can do is very simple. So let's say you want to choose Lux, for example. You can just click here on the drop down, right click and open the bootstrap.min.css in a new tab. Then you just have to copy that, head on over to one of your templates. So for example, I'm going to go to my register.html page here. And here by the top line here, right at the top here, so I have a simple invocation of CSS. So my style sheet, text um, CSS. And here by the href, all you need to do is you just need to replace it with the URL linking to that bootstrap. And it would be best practices if you have a CSS file as well included, just to include it above it so that it overrides all of the principles set there. So now if I head onto the register page and I refresh now, you can see it looks a little bit different here. Okay, so you can see you can change the style and the class of your application according to the theme. This is something I also wanted to mention, so I will be sure to include the link in the description below as well for you. Okay, so now let's try and fix these fields. So an easy way to fix this is to use the Django Crispy Forms package. Now, for some reason with the version 2.0 package, that old configuration isn't working so nicely as it used to. So we can go to release history and um, there are a lot of versions here, but we don't want to go too far back, it's too old. Let's just go one release back here. So version 1.14.0, so that um, other than the pre-release, that one is relatively new compared to these. So we can go ahead and install Django Crispy Forms. So what we can do is in our server, we can just say pip install Django dash Crispy dash Forms. And you want to say e double equals here and then refer to that particular version. So the version here is 1.14.0. So here I'm going to say 1.14.0 and you can install that within your virtual environment of your project. Okay, there we go, so that's set. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to set this up in our application. So what I'm going to do is head on to my settings.py file and here by my uh, installed apps here, I want to add in crispy underscore forms. Be sure to add in a comma at the end there and then we need to specify the template pack so we need to say what is going to be the crispy template pack so we can say crispy underscore template underscore pack and what we can do now is we can set that accordingly so i'm going to say bootstrap 4 so you can also use bootstrap 5 however i would recommend reading the documentation provided here on uh this uh, package here so you can go ahead and look at the home page read a little bit more about the documentation before you decide to change it so i'm just going to use bootstrap 4 here so that's the theme i'm going to utilize now we can go to the page that we want to invoke it on so here i have my register.html page which is rendering the following i want to adjust these fields and these fields are going to look very similar to the fields that are specified with uh, let's see the theme that i had Lux here, so it's going to look very familiar here. So if I click on this theme, for example, you can see the styling that it gives you with it. So it's also going to include a little bit more information into how the fields will look. So they'll look more gray if once the bootstrap has been entered. So it will have these grayish sort of fields. Anyway, so let's carry on. So we want to now load bootstrap. We already installed the package, set it up in installed apps, and we've also set the crispy template pack. Now what we can do on the page in which we want to set this up at the top, you want to say load. Okay. 
crispy underscore forms underscore tags like so so you want to go ahead and load that then as you can see here for my default form here i have form dot as underscore p so that's the default that we would utilize when we're having our application so what i usually have here is i have my simple forms.py file so let me show you so as you can see i have a simple a structure here in place here so i have my user creation form was uh, based on my model was my field so username email password one password two all set and I'm just simply rendering this out in a view here. So I'm just importing that create user form. And then here by my register view, I'm just bringing in that form, setting up a post request. And then if everything is valid, I'm going to save it to the database and just redirect to the home page once it's done. And here I am taking in all of the fields from that form, which was username, email, password one, password two. And I'm just rendering out to rendering out to my registered HTML page, which we can observe here as form dot as underscore p. So this dot as underscore p just gives us a little bit of styling to our, to our application here itself. So if I were to remove that and just say form, for example, and uh, turn on my server, you're going to see it's not going to add any styling. So if I just run my server. Okay, and I refresh, you're going to see here, it looks very ugly and very bad. So by adding dot as underscore P here, it does give you a little bit of styling, but it's still not quite good enough. So I just wanted to give you some background on my application. So that's how it looks so far, basically. So the form, the view that I set for it, and how am I outputting it here accordingly as a form in a basic method. Okay. Now, all you need to do now, if you want to go ahead and make use of the crispy fields here, which will be based on Bootstrap, is have a look at your form and separate your field. So here I have a username, email, password one, and password two fields. So I'm going to separate them. So here I'm just going to say form.username. Then I'm gonna add the following symbol and say as underscore crispy underscore field. So now if you just, uh, refresh the page. You can see now it's now showing username and that looks a bit cleaner and a lot nicer. And we can just set this for our independent fields. So here I have form dot um, email as crispy field and then form dot password one. So here you specify your attributes manually and then you just add in the filter there for crispy forms just to make it a look cleaner and a lot nicer so this is a very easy and simple way to do it if you want to add in some bootstrap styling to your application to give it that edge just to make it look nicer now it does look a little bit tight around here with the fields all i usually do is i just add in a breakpoint here just to clear it up so that just helps to make it a bit um, easier to read so that's all you need to do and that's that so let's refresh and there we go so now it looks a lot readable, a lot cleaner, and that's a very simple and easy way to add in uh, Bootstrap to your particular themes for free and use it in tangent with Bootswatch, which provides these free Bootstrap themes. All you need to do then is utilize Django Crispy Forms just to give it that edge and increase um, the look of the form and make it a lot cleaner and a lot better. Okay, so that's it, guys. That's how you can go ahead and implement Django Crispy Forms, and I will be sure to include all the necessary links in the description below. So that's it, guys. 